Kyle Scribner is a very talented actor, entertainer, and ventriloquist who performs regularly at the Comedy Barn right here in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Today, he is bringing his act to you on The Christy Adams Show. Please welcome Kyle Scribner to the show today. Kyle, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule of entertaining the world to be on my show. Well, thank you for having me, Christy. I greatly appreciate it. Yeah. So, as I said in the intro, you are an actor, mm -hmm. an entertainer, a ventriloquist. So, tell me some of the things you've acted in. Well, uh, when I first moved here, I was the original sheriff in the Hatfield and McCoy show. I did that for about seven years and uh so thousands of shows and uh i've done a few homicide hunters uh the joe kenda thing and um just a few you know i was involved in professional wrestling so that's a little bit of acting oh, yeah. there and, yeah. and i was a bad guy manager and <laughs> uh, had a good time doing that i, I miss doing that it's, yeah. it was really a lot of fun so that's some of the things i've acted in you know and a few little commercial spots here and there oh, so. good yeah sounds interesting um so well, you said when you first moved here where are you from originally you i'm originally know. from columbia tennessee it's a oh, little okay. town about 45 minutes south of nashville oh okay yeah. that's cool so you yeah. didn't move too far so no, I, I, I thought maybe you moved from like Ohio or something. No, no, no. <laughs> so, no, I'm a Tennessee boy. <laughs> you know, I, so how long has that Hatfield McCoy Dinner Theater been here? Like it, it opened in April of 2011. You know, 11. Uh, so it's been for 13 years. That's yeah. crazy. I yeah. didn't realize that. I have never gone to that. I've always wanted to, but I'll tell you my problem with dinner shows. Mm -hmm. They're always packed out. Yeah. yeah. Always packed. And I always dread the park, like getting the, I don't know. I mean, I love it once I'm there, like the Pirate's Voyage. Right. I love that. The Stampede, mm -hmm. love that. Um, but yeah, but I'm like, I need to go to the Hatfield McCoy thing, but I'm like, oh, it's probably going to be crowded. And so <laughs> they, they pack them in there like sardines. It's yeah. a, it's a pretty good show. And like I said, I had a good time there. I did, gosh, like I said, thousands of shows, and I had a good run, learned a lot, and uh, it was a good time on the boards, as yeah. you could say. You know what? Yeah, I always say any experience we get, even here, you know, it's not like, I mean, I, listen, I love the show. I'm proud of it. Mm. We are a local station, mm. and but we're not national, but I'm like, you know, any experience that you can get doing anything you love mm. is 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 worth it i mean it's, it's great you know Absolutely. be able to do what you love and i love doing this show so yeah. i can see where that was tiring for you to do what how many shows did you say uh, thousands? In, any, anywhere from two to three shows a day um seven oh, days wow. a week oh, six to seven days a week you know yeah boy that'll keep you in shape too. It, it, you it, dancing? It, it, well i didn't do a lot of dancing i mean i guess you could call it dancing i, I don't know i, I might have <laughs> boogied a little bit here and there but uh, no I, I just generally played the sheriff and got lit on fire every show wow yeah, yeah i think that would be be fun yeah. you know i would love to do something like that my problem is i can't remember any lines <laughs> so like i would i just i would be like what was i supposed to say i'd, I'd have to be like johnny depp have an earpiece in my yeah. ear to feed me the lines well after thousands <laughs> of shows it you could pretty much say it in your sleep it yeah. was it was uh <laughs> we just ambered it in there <laughs> so now you're at one of my favorite places which mm -hmm. I, like i said before i haven't been there in years mm -hmm. Um, so I do need to come back, but the comedy barn right over here across the street, yep, really I'm at the comedy barn. How long have you been there? I've been there since February of 2018. So about, uh, about, about six two. years. Wow. Yeah. Cool. So tell me what you do there. I'm the ventriloquist there. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm the dummy guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it beats being the dummy. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So, so um, how fun is I? F I think it would be so much fun to work there because first mm. of all, you get to meet people from all over the world. Right. You know, I worked at Dollywood for two seasons, and buddy, I met people from Australia, Japan, mm. everywhere. And so I think that is one of the coolest parts of working in a tourist town. You get to meet people from everywhere. Absolutely. But what I'm impressed by is that you guys have remained clean. Your humor is clean all these years. Oh, absolutely. And I absolutely. love that. So how do you feel being a part of all that, knowing that you can ha create a family atmosphere? Well, I'm, I'm honored and I'm very blessed to be a part of, of the Comedy Barn brand. Um, I love it. I love what I do. I love what the Comedy Barn stands for. And uh, just the fact that we are one of the longest running clean family comedy shows in, in the world yeah. is, is uh, it's just, I'm, I'm very blessed to be a part of it yeah. and uh, ha happy and enjoying it and just riding the ride. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could understand that, you know, so many times something might start out as clean and then somehow, I don't know, it's like the world just kind of weasels in and yeah. takes over and it's really sad. Yeah. So I'm glad that you guys have stood by what you stand for absolutely, <laughs> years, so. absolutely so you mentioned you're a ventriloquist and mm -hmm. i asked you if you would bring one of your friends and i even said in the message i was like can you bring a dummy i was like <laughs> i don't know if i should call it a dummy or not i felt kind of bad about that oh, because i'm sure you've been 
you know, like if if you're a writer, you get close to your characters mm-hmm. in your book. Do you feel like that, like protective of your characters that you have? Yes, uh, I think I think the more real they are to you, the more real they'll be to the audience. Yeah. And and uh, if you if you go back to the days of Edgar Bergen and Charlie McCarthy, you know Charlie McCarthy had his own bedroom in, in wow. Edgar Bergen's house. Wow. So so uh, you know the the character it was so character driven that that people believed it. Even on the radio, people believed it was two different people talking well it was just Edgar Bergen talking for himself and Charlie and uh, so that that commitment to character that that level of commitment is uh, it's very important mm-hmm. so yeah you know I've seen people or I've watched people on TV who do that and it's so when I'm watching it it's so real that I forget it that it's being controlled by the person mm-hmm. I'm, because it does feel like it's too Two people there, even though the one is tiny. Yeah. It feels like there's two people, and that's that's the homework of a good performer. That's, so. that's definitely the goal, is yeah, to have so. them think there's two people there. Yeah, so who'd you bring with you today? I brought uh, Bonzo. He's, he's a retired circus performer, and he recently moved in with me, and now he eats all my food oh. and runs up my cable bill. So, <laughs> well, good. Let's, so. let's meet Bonzo. Sure, sure. <laughs> well, well, man, I tell you what, that is the smallest <laughs> bathroom I've ever used in my life. <laughs> Bonzo, that's not a bathroom. It is now. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? Hi, Bonzo. Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for coming. And you, I've seen the floor. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. So, Bonzo, do you do talk shows very often? Uh, not very often. Uh, I got kicked off the uh, Ellen DeGeneres show. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you did not. Well, they didn't know that. <laughs> hey, you can say whatever you want to here, Bonzo. Cool. <laughs> cool <yeah. laughs> All right. So I heard you perform over at the Comedy Bar. Yep, that's where I'm at. That's the office. Yeah. Uh, the office? Yeah. Okay, cool. So how yeah. fun is that? Oh, it's a blast. I have a good time. Good. Yeah, good. yeah, yeah. I enjoy it. A lot of... A lot of people, a lot of friendly faces, and uh, uh, it's really good. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever have anybody who's scared of you, like kids? Do children get afraid of you? Um, sometimes if I'm really close, but I usually hang out on stage, so it's it's a nice little distance that makes them comfortable. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. We don't want to scare the kids. No, not at all. No. <laughs> I'm telling you, Bonzo. I know you're a puppet, yeah. but you seem so real. It's oh. your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I think I want to take you home with me. Well, I'll go. <laughs> I think you're fired. I'm going solo. <laughs> yeah, go solo. Maybe we can get you your own show on Severe TV. Yeah, you though. need How's a that? co-host? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'll do it. Do. <laughs> well, throw my name in the hat. Yeah. Well, listen, Bonzo, thank you so much for coming. Well, I'll thanks for that. having me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll come over to the comedy barn and see you one day. Sounds good. Yeah. Good. Can I can I shout out and say, hi, Bonzo, remember me? Absolutely. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I was looking in the camera. Wrong Don't camera. Work. Oh, that one. <laughs> Bonzo, you're go. a ham. I know. Uh, all right. Be nice. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Hey, thank Kyle. you. That was, that was really good. Yeah. Bonzo, see, I see it's like I'll keep thinking now he's real. Well, I am real. <laughs> so, listen, that was great. Thank you so much. And thank you, like I said, for taking time out of your schedule to come on. I really appreciate it. Now, do you do you have other characters besides Bonzo? I do. I do. I have a, a old lady character named Aunt Franny. Yeah. Oh. I guess I can put you up now. That's fine. <laughs> Back in the suitcase. <laughs> see you later. Bye, Bonzo. <laughs> All right, and I have a elderly lady character named Aunt Franny. Um, I uh, I've used a f- few different ones over my career, uh, but Bonzo and Aunt Franny are the main ones now. Mm-hmm. But I've I've got a mule. Columbia, Tennessee is is known for Mule oh, Day. Wow. It's uh, this is where they celebrate mules, and well. so so I naturally had to get a mule puppet, <laughs> and his name is Mueller. So oh, you know wow. that that reoccurring mule theme. Uh, <laughs> then I've got a duck named Webster, and. Um, I'm a collector too, so I've got about eighty of them at the wow. house. Yeah. Oh gosh! Yeah. Now, do you listen? I want to ask you something that would. Pro- do you ever get scared? Like, do you ever walk in a room and they're sitting there just looking at you? I think that would scare me. <laughs> I got scared one time by one of my dummies. It was when I was uh, was rehearsing for a show, and this one it can kind of sit up on its own, like mm-hmm. like it just can sit there. Yeah. And uh, I went to go do something in the back room or something like that, and. Uh, I came back and I saw him sitting in the floor 
and it just spooked wow. me for a second because it looked it looked so human. Oh, but uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. so I was like, "Who is this in my living room?" Um, but that's the only time I've been scared. Now I've had people that have walked in my memorabilia room mm -hmm. and they've been scared yeah. uh, before and, and gotten spooked. Uh, and I've got some that don't even go in it. Yeah, you know what I can I could probably relate to that. I just I don't think I could be around like I don't know. I've had dolls when I was little mm -hmm. that were scary, and I would have to turn them face away from right, me. I'm like, or right. put a pillow over them. I'm like, that, you know, it, it would take a lot of pillows in that room and a lot of <laughs> yeah. a lot of turning, and I, I I wouldn't be able to go to sleep till about five o'clock in the morning if I was in there turning their heads. <laughs> but but uh, so I wanted to ask you a question. Um, do you do? I know you work there, but do you do private events like birthday I parties do. for kids? Do I do. I I don't do uh, necessarily strictly kid shows i've done some mm -hmm. libraries and stuff but I, I do family events because oh, okay. uh, my show's geared towards the whole family oh, okay. uh i do a lot of banquets uh corporate events mm -hmm. um i'm trying to break into trade shows as well you know yeah. to, to uh, be a basically a traffic stopper for people's trade show booths yeah. uh, i've done a lot of church events Oh, uh, yeah. Those are some of my favorites to do, yeah. especially the uh, senior church banquets. You know, Aunt yeah. Franny's a big hit with those. I was going to say Aunt yeah. Franny probably being and really popular. What about like, you know what I think would be fun? Uh, like a wedding reception. Would you yeah. ever do something like that? Like, I, Yeah. That I, I, I did like a bachelorette party one time. Oh, that okay. was interesting. Yeah. And uh, um, did that at a cabin in Gatlinburg. Um, but uh, yeah, wedding receptions and just different things. Uh, have dummy, will travel. <laughs> <laughs> Good motto. I yeah. love that. I love that. <laughs> Listen, thank Thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. I've enjoyed this. This Wonderful. has been fun. I'm going to get over to the Comedy Barn and see you. Sounds and and, and Bonzo. Thank you and very much. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching today. I know you have had a barrel of laughs just like I had. Um, join me again next week for another exciting show. Oh, by the way, we'll put all of Kyle's um, social media links at the end of the show on the screen. So if you want to get in touch with him and have him you know, come to one of your events. I'm sure he'll do it. So, yeah, but join me again next week for another exciting episode. And remember to always dream big because big dreams do come true.